I don't know of an issue that uh, is so threatening to mankind than proliferation of nuclear weapons. I am uh, convinced uh, that if we do not address this in a serious way, and all of our leaders in the world start paying attention to this and committing themselves uh, to the eventual elimination of uh, these nuclear weapons, then uh, there's a real question about the future of mankind, and I think it's that serious. These things are uh, potentially catastrophes. I'm thinking here of uh, the North Korean case, which I would say isn't going terribly well. Uh, then I would say Iran, which at any time can go bad at least two ways, by the Iranians doing something or somebody wishing to stop the program doing something that might be a bit precipitous. So the Iranian situation can be exciting almost at, at any moment. And then there's Pakistan. Uh, that's a situation which, as I think we all know, not only could go bad at any moment, but might have yesterday. And overall, overarching in this, you know, this great opportunity that we have uh, is the number one security challenge, nuclear terrorism. You were speaking about nuclear terrorism, and uh, both President Obama and Secretary Clinton have said that's our gravest threat. Do you feel that we are treating it as our, our gravest threat? And is there anything more that we, we could be doing? I think we're not where we ought to be if we're serious about this being uh, our major concern. The first thing I would want the administration to do uh, is to focus very, very hard on the question of securing existing fissile material, highly enriched uranium and plutonium, anywhere it exists in the world. Every day that material isn't secured is a risky day. Uh, and I worry about that. The Pakistan problem in this area is, is to me, the, the most uh, critical one. There's an approach here that I think needs to be pressed so that we get as much assurance as possible that the materials, the weapons, uh, and the people uh, associated with that nuclear weapons program are uh, secure. We need a lot of political will to do the heavy lift that we have coming forward. Um, this is an extraordinary time, and uh, I think that uh, with all of your help and with this leadership uh, and with the President's leadership and Secretary Clinton's leadership, Secretary Gates, we're going to get a lot done. We have a new administration, a new president, uh, and a new Congress, so lots more is possible. I do think that this is one of those uh, transformational times in history, and it, it is up to the leadership of the world to seize this moment and this opportunity. Uh, we have uh, this unique moment uh, with this uh, new leadership in place, not just in Washington, but in Moscow, uh, around the world, that um, uh, can, in fact, uh, address this great issue in, uh, in a meaningful way in the sense that uh, we need to move it to a higher platform, to uh, a higher agenda of action. Combating proliferation is one of the issues which demands very close international cooperation. This is why Italy has meant to make the fight against proliferation one of the priority of our presidency of the G8 this year. I believe the steps that have been outlined, and we'll talk about some more tonight, getting control of nuclear materials wherever they are, stopping the production of those materials, taking uh, weapons uh, by both Russia and the United States off of prompt launch. All of those steps are absolutely essential. Are we doing anything about nuclear terrorism by addressing the question of what we want to do with nuclear weapons in the next 5, 10, or 15 years? Uh, do we want to have a no first use policy? Do we really want to get down below 1,000, below 500 um, uh, in a reasonable amount of time? And if we do those kinds of things, is it going to help us on the Pakistan question? Is it going to help us on the Iran question or the North Korean question? We're interested and we're providing answers in commission reports. It doesn't mean that somehow that's going to translate into success or uh, at least successfully engaging these issues. It does not. Uh, leadership is still the key of anything in life and in the world. And leaders must be committed to this. They must be committed in a wise way with wise people. But they do need a framework and they do need a strategic concept uh, of where they want to go with all this.
The vision is enormously important. The goal's important. Without the uh, vision, we're not going to get the cooperation. Without the cooperation, we're not going to take the steps. And without the steps, we're not going to protect America.